Hi, my name is George Bartlett. I'm an 18-year-old filmmaker, photographer and writer based in Birmingham. How I got here, this started when I was eight years old and I received a uh, Hi8 camera. Um, I started shooting films with my friends uh, and editing them on a crappy PC that I had. Um, and then as I progressed, I went to a couple of film courses uh, down in London, uh, bought some new equipment, uh, started shooting on mini DV, uh, then in the last couple of years, gone over to digital. Uh, and everything's progressed since there, so since I was young, the technology's grown and I've just grown with it. I started shooting photos about three years ago and started writing about two years ago. The reason I do what I do, um, my passion for telling stories through a visual medium, again, uh, started when I was young. I think cinema is um, amazing uh, and there's just something magic about um, being in the cinema full of people uh, with a huge moving image in the screen. Um, and cinema can change perceptions, it can change uh, the way people think about life, people think about um, their everyday uh, doings really. Um, and fiction yeah, allows people to um, exit reality and just enter a world even if for 20 minutes um, and just escape what we're in. My influences are people from David Lynch um, to Spike Jones to Tarantino, Hitchcock and Chaplin. Um, I feel that I've taken a, a lot of inspiration um, visually and story-wise from these uh, filmmakers and I'm in the process and have been for, you know, since I was young, uh, forming my own style and uh, way of telling stories. I'm in the in-house production facilities um, and this is a great space to shoot um, things like multi-camera pieces um, where I can roll all the cameras and shoot anything that needs a multi-camera setup with just me and maybe one other person. Um, it's great for um, controlling the light if I need to do monologues or pieces of camera or interviews or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a great space to work in. Okay, this is our first camera. Our, um, main camera for our master shot of the interview that I'm about to shoot with Job Karam. Um, one thing I want to note is headroom. Uh, that's good headroom. That's bad headroom because he's got no headroom. And that's bad headroom unless you're like making an indie British film because um, he's got too much headroom. But if you're going for a standard interview, about that much headroom is cool. Um, so yeah, that's headroom. What am I doing right now? I'm working on a short experimental film called Three and I'm playing with a couple of ideas for feature films. Um, it starts with the seed of an idea and then um, I will draft a screenplay and redraft it and redraft it until I'm happy with it. Uh, then I'll go scouting for actors. Um, I don't enjoy holding auditions because I prefer to, to see if the actor will fit my character before I even approach them um, and then see if they can act. Um, and then work with the actor intensely, working out the character, um, doing auditions of the scenes. Um, and then we'll go on to location or into a studio shoot, depending on, on what we need. Um, block the scene um, and then run through the scene with the actor, uh, make sure the lines are going okay. Um, and then we'll shoot, we'll shoot over and over again until it's perfect. And then take the footage um, into the edit suite, do an offline. I'll log the footage first, do an offline edit. Uh, once I'm happy with that, I'll show the actor because I like to work personally with um, as few actors as possible. And then um, once they're happy with that and I'm happy with it, we'll go to online, color grade it, do music, um, and then output. And then once a uh, project is finished, um, I don't really like to, to linger on it too much. I just want to start a new project um, and get on. And that's how things start and that's how things have been going. Um, for a while. Uh, it's always good to have a second camera if you're shooting an interview um, so you can cut between them to keep things dynamic instead of just watching um, a boring person talk for like 10 minutes or however long the interview is. Um, so again, headroom applies, everything applies, but with with the second camera I like to go closer or pull a wide of maybe the whole studio, um, but yeah it's pretty basic really, you just get another shot. Um, in case, in case something happens, but also to keep things uh, dynamic while you're cutting into two together. I 
I started off using, as I said, um, Hi8 uh, camera, then I went to Mini DV, and then I bought a Sony PD150, which in my opinion is one of the best cameras ever made. Uh, it's a shame that it's in standard definition, because if, if it was in HD, it would take over the world. Um, and then I moved from a PD150 to a Sony Z7, um, which again, shoots to tape but it's got a CF card on the back so I can shoot CF um, in digital and um, and I also use a Canon 600D um, in the past two years since the DSLR sort of revolution kicked off um, so I jumped on the bandwagon there uh, and I edit on Final Cut or Premiere um, and I'm starting to use Avid now what does the future hold for me? Uh, this time next year, I'm planning to move to Berlin because uh, they've got a great art scene out there um, and I'm looking to kickstart my career as a filmmaker and a writer. Um, and I hope that in five years time, I'm, I'm you know, either recognized as an up and coming filmmaker and writer, photographer or whatever, um, you know, or I'm on my way to, to, to being there. Um, I'm looking at university, but that's another option. There are so many things I could be doing this time next year. One last thing about lighting. Um, your indoor lighting setup can make or break uh, the footage that you get, and don't ever think you can fix lighting in post, because you probably can't. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're using a basic three light setup, unless you're going for something more stylized. Um, use anything you can. If you haven't got too many lights to reflect, um, tinfoil works um, and yeah just don't underexpose and don't overexpose um, so yeah just keep your light in um, keep your scene drenched with light because uh, you can't fix it the future of cinema um, and filmmaking I don't think I'm really in the position to make any um, statements about it but I think um, it's both good and bad that uh, filmmaking has become democratised by the DSLR revolution as they call it um, but I think that that it allows kids and, and everyone to get their hands um, on cameras and to make films which is a good thing but it, it also s slows down the process of seeing who is really you know who's good at what they're doing and who's just got a camera and a nice shallow depth of field because you've got a nice lens um, and yeah I think I think film Filmmaking is, um, is an industry as thriving as, as good as it's ever been. The only bit of advice that I've got for someone, um, perhaps wanting to go in the same direction as me, or going in the same direction as me, or any filmmaker, um, just keep making films because there's no excuse not to now. Uh, we don't have to shoot on film and um, edit on film, we can shoot on digital. Um, so, yeah, no excuse, uh, just keep making films. My work is available for everyone to see online. Go to my website at cactusthief.com and follow me at George underscore Bartlett.